Hey everyone, welcome to episode 45 of A Diary of a Multifaceted Mama. Welcome to this realness, all right, y'all? This is a face that has not been done up. There is nothing on it. This is hair that has been thrown up into the mama messy bun, whatever you want to call it, because here we are real. We just, we embrace being real. Why be anything else? I'd be anything else, right? And so don't get me wrong. Some days it's nice to get dressed up, to put on makeup. Sometimes that feels good. And if that feels good, do that. I do that when it feels good. But please know that here in this space, I do not advocate for forcing yourself to look a certain way or be a certain way or fake it till you make it kind of thing, okay? Be you. That's what we're here. That's what I'm demonstrating for you today. I wanted to talk with you all about some things that were coming up in my reflection today, my self-reflection, I was doing some reading, I was doing some writing, I was doing some listening to some um, psychotherapy, um, somatic work, as well as some other kind of inspirational things that I like to listen to here and there and things like that. And so I've had some reflections today with myself, which I find to be really powerful, not just for me, but I mean, we all benefit from taking that time to self-reflect as long as there's intention behind it and compassion within it. And so what came up for me today is this. What if you feel like there's a problem for you to fix? And if you're anything like me, you're a high achiever and you like to solve problems, you like to fix things, you like to figure things out, you like to get things done, you are a go-getter, boom, 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 boom. You're really good at that right? You're super capable, probably super independent, really good at what you do. You persevere, you have grit, you put your mind to things. And there are many benefits to that. However, there can also be this sense that even though you've done a lot and things in your life are in a place that's good, you can't sit in it. Like you can't rest in it. You're like, no, like, there should be something more. There should be something different. You're looking at someone else that maybe is doing what you're doing work-wise or business-wise or profession-wise, or you're looking at someone else that has the same number or more kids than you or has the kind of marriage that you want. You're looking at them. You're like, oh, like I need to do it that way. Or how come they can do it that way, but I can't or whatever it is. Like you're looking around you and you're like, oh, more. Or you're, you are trying to sit in it, but like you're agitated and, re and restless and maybe even a little bit overwhelmed with like, but there's so much to do, but I've done so much, blah, 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 right? Like, and so what can happen is, is, it sounds so ironic. It's like oxymoronic and is this, you start looking for a problem to solve. And the problem is that there is not a problem. Let me say that in a different way. You're so used to doing and fixing and going and getting things done and solving things and addressing things, right? Like you're so used to that, that actually basking in the fruit of your labor, that actually enjoying whatever unfolds afterwards, that actually being in the present without needing to do or to address or to fix or to figure out causes you restlessness like you're it's 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 agitating almost and frustrating and so you're like well if i'm agitated or frustrated or overwhelmed or stressed like there must be something that i need to tend to let me figure that out and then maybe you start like doing a bunch of of, of, of like, I don't know, like tidy, like tidy worker or seemingly meaning, meaningless work because you're like, I just need to be doing and going and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's because in part, you're like, I'm so used to finding the problem, to finding the issues and fixing them and tending them and addressing them that actually I am not at all accustomed, not at all familiar with not having a problem to address. And so the problem becomes that there isn't a problem. Isn't that mind blowing? I, I've noticed this kind of pulling myself into this um, in my reflections recently, especially today. I was like, you know, I've been noticing that there have been times, increased times in the past several months since this, since I've had my fourth baby where I'm like, wow, like I'm noticing a little bit more overwhelm that I'm used to. Like I'm noticing a little bit more like antsiness that I'm used to. Like this is, like, 
what is it that's missing that I need to, 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 to deal with? Or what is it that I need to address? Or what is it that I need to heal more deeply? And all of that is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with all of that, but sometimes the answer isn't that you need to do something. The answer isn't that you have a problem to solve. What I actually am benefiting from most right now, and, and maybe this resonates for you too, is that there's not something missing. Because I'm always evolving, right? So like, sure, at some point, there's gonna be something I could do or I could address or something more. Or like, all of that is fine. But right here, right now, in this red hot moment, if I'm feeling a sense of stress or overwhelm or dis-ease, Actually, it's because I'm looking for a problem that doesn't exist. And that in and, it's, and, in and of itself is creating a problem. Ugh. And so, maybe you needed to hear this today, fellow high achiever, <laughs> fellow multifaceted mama, or fellow multifaceted father, a fellow multifaceted human being, whomever you are, wherever you are, whatever walk of life you are in, maybe right here, right now, the problem that you are trying to fix or the void you are trying to fill or whatever it is, the problem is that there isn't a problem right here, right now, that you are required to address or to fix or figure out. Instead, maybe it's for you to lean in to what you've already created in your life, the magnificence and the beauty and the creations that already exist right here, right now.